Are you looking for more room in your home to accommodate your family? One of the most common reasons to remodel a home is to create more space. In today's Angie's List report, how to maximize and make the space work for you. Lori's house was built in the late 1940s. The kitchen appliances were falling apart, so in addition to updating the appliances, it was also a good time to remodel the kitchen and change up its space. We changed um, the layout. Um, there was, uh, the layout was very, very different um, within the same space that you see. Uh, and we made the space more open to the family living area beyond. Um, that, that would be the main thing. One of the most common reasons to remodel a home is to create more space, especially in older homes that have smaller rooms and less square footage. The latest trends we're seeing in remodeling is really about making your space more open instead of adding on. For example, if you have a small boxy kitchen and living room, we're seeing trends toward taking the walls down and opening the space up. A lot of times we'll come in and we'll open up a wall between two rooms. Um, usually a family room and a kitchen. And then we'll completely redo the kitchen and often make an island where that wall used to be so that it's all inclusive. It's not uncommon for people to have us in and talk to us about how they can use the space more effectively in a home. In other words, they, they love their lot, they love their mature trees, uh, they like their neighbors, they like their schools, and they don't want to move, but they're trying to make their house become what it is that they would see if they go into the newer homes on the market today. Well, the idea of opening up space in your house might seem like a simple project, but it's actually pretty tricky because when it comes to taking walls out of your home, you want to be sure you know exactly what you're doing. So consulting with a professional, like a structural engineer, to make sure you're not taking out a load-bearing wall, which obviously could lead to disaster. Well, first of all, I just tell them, we're going to make a big mess. Now, second, we try to contain that mess the very best we can. And it depends on their situation as to just how well we can do that. But uh, it's, it's not, uh, construction is not an easy thing and it's not an exact science. So we have to make some, some mess before we can really get anywhere near the finished product. Well, I think the primary thing that you need to do is you need to make sure you have a decent understanding of how you'd like to use your space more effectively. You don't have to have all the answers. You actually don't have to have any of the answers. You just have to understand what your needs are and be able to effectively communicate them to somebody like us or a company like ours. If you don't have the budget now for a large-scale remodeling project, there are small yet strategic improvements that will create more space. You can create additional floor space by removing bulky bookcases and entertainment centers and replacing them with cabinets and shelves. An interior designer or decorator and even a professional organizer can help you maximize the space you have. This is Ian B. Clark for News 46.